Superboy, The Man of Tomorrow, issue one. Kenny Porter writing with Janoi Lindsay on the art. This is the winner of last year's Round Robin tournament, which is not mm-hmm. a round robin, but that's a debate that we've had many times before. Right. Uh, so this is this is six issue Connor Kent book. Uh, yeah. which is a lot more in continuity than I was expecting it to be. It's, it's it's actually addressing the fact that oh he was erased from reality and he's back now. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's looking he's looking for his own relevancy, right? Yeah. Like, where, where do I where fit does... in the super family now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were gonna say like you, Connor. You're struggling for relevancy. <laughs> oh, I mean every day, but that, that's, that that's a separate thing. Sits uh, close to home. Yeah. Um, I think. But oh. Yeah, I I like that though because he's like, well, you know, John's now older and there's Kara and. You know, we have these kids now, like, what do I do? Well, the kids yeah. aren't there yet, because it specifically says yeah. it's before, before Action Comics uh, 1050. But, um, I, I wasn't, like, this wasn't bad by any means, but yeah. I wasn't that into it, because I felt like the, the setup was interesting enough. Him feeling misplaced, because, like, the other supers are all mm-hmm. there to deal with everything was fine. Um, but once, I, after that, when it was basically just, he goes to somewhere else in the universe, onto a planet, to try and find a purpose to go and help mm-hmm. someone, which is fine. But then it just became, oh, he's fighting these aliens. And it there's a... just felt like, oh, we need action for an issue. Yeah. Because yeah. it's that... an issue one, so there has to be a lot of action. So and that's most of the issue. And I was just kind of yeah. bored by all that. <clears throat> well, and, and the aliens that he's fighting, I'm not that interested in, like this Dominator clone regiment and stuff. I'm like, that's fine, I guess. I just don't want to see him fighting versions of stuff that we're used to. Yeah. I feel like that's where we're going to go. It just... I didn't feel like there was any real concept yeah. to it. It was just kind of like he needs something to fight. So here, this mm-hmm. is it. Rather than oh, there's here's, a there's a hook, there's a gimmick, there's something that is exciting right. for future issues. I never here's, felt here's that. Here's a Despero clone that has a gun as his third eye, you know. And here's a <laughs> and you know here's which from one of my all time favorite Green Lantern core stories was I forget the the species she is, but it's the butterfly looking clone. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the one that teamed up with Guy in the undercover story from Dave Gibbons that I love so much. I, I mostly enjoyed it. I mean, it's just a lot of super family in space right now coming off of Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, mm-hmm. and then Superman Lost, and now this. I, I feel like Supergirl, you know? though, like presented a story, though. I was like, yeah, 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 well, that's what I mean. Yeah. I was like, I wouldn't have pitch this as a Connor Kent story, knowing that we were in the middle of that, right? Like, because that, that at least her, you know... people doing... demanded that they get this story. I, I Did they, though? Did they demand? I mean, Allegedly. There was a yeah. vote, so who knows? Yeah. But, like, I don't necessarily mind that it's a Connor Kent story in space. Yeah. I just felt like it didn't do anything to be like, here's the, the hook of this story. Here's why you right. want to come back to it. Because we've set up this simple idea. It, it just kind of felt like, Here's a bunch of characters, and then there's this team that show up at the end that are going to be his allies, presumably. The Cosmeteers. And I, I, I took one look at this team and went, yeah, I don't need to read any more of this. This just yeah. looks boring as shit to me. I'm, I'm going to see how long I can go on this. This is going to be my <laughs> Connor and the Red Hood experiment. I, I will probably just wait, and I'll probably read the full six-issue thing when it's just all out on DC on Infinite. One. Yeah. It's that like, sort of know. story where I'm like, yeah, I, I can see it being a, a a perfectly fine evening trade. Yeah, I just I feel like a a, a uh, hypocrite if I sit there and complain that we don't have a Connor Kent story, and then don't give it at least two issues, you know. So you did ask for one for at least five years. I did not this though, <laughs> not not him finding his purpose, which I it was so silly. How dare him, he have a purpose? Well, not just that. It's him going to Keelix and being like. Where can I help out? And like, oh well, no every way. other team is is working on something. There's nothing for you. Joe, so he Joe, goes to look in the galaxy as if the Green Lantern Corps don't exist. Joe, I felt was weird about that as well. Is the the, the panel where it showed you, oh, Supergirl's got this place covered. Superman's mm-hmm. got this place covered. One of the ones that showed you was his Young Justice team, and I'm yeah. like, that's your team. You well, can just be them. with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But and and even if have. You know, as a writer, have him comment on like, you know, I need something for me. Like he needs to get his mojo back. Not, you know, not team with Young Justice. So yeah. also I, I I'm not a big fan of the high fade leather jacket look. You know. Sure. Um, well, I, I'm not so. quite the same, but I'm not a 
huge fan of the art, I would say. Like, it's yeah. not terrible or anything, but I'm not a fan of the style of the faces uh, throughout. I don't have a big problem with that. I don't either. Um, I think the aliens look okay. I think anything with, like, back on Earth was a little bit weird. The humans. The humans don't look good. The people. Yeah. yeah. The people, but... Um, I thought I thought like the 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 one page in Smallville with Mampa Kent. I thought that law looked very rustic and okay. Like I thought they looked fine, but yeah. So you know I'm not disappointed. Um, but uh, again I wasn't like I didn't just, have it built up. For you're anything. not disappointed. You're just angry. No. <laughs> so, but uh, but yeah, looking looking forward to see what kind of what other kinds of clones that we get because they were all super stoked to have. Uh, you know, someone with Kryptonian DNA. Yeah, yeah um, it just, it felt like the basics of like, okay, let's ex- explore what Connor Kent is going through yeah. for the first, you know, chunk of the issue, and then it just became a lot of filler and set up for more, like, uh, these characters in space, yeah. and I'm like, this just all feels like a bunch of filler story to me. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, I didn't really feel anything for this. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, and there was also, I guess they're doing backups in these of, like, the runner-ups where they get, like, a little eight-page story at the end. Oh. Yeah, I didn't read it. I didn't read it either. I didn't, but... I didn't look. I just I got to the end of it the was story. And I was one like, of the Green Lantern okay. ones, though, right? Yeah, oh, it was the, the Lantern at the end of the... It was the, the, the less interesting of the two Lantern right. ones. Yeah. Uh, but it, at the end, it said, next time, this one. So I think they're going to be doing this in every issue. Like, the, right. All the... All the you know, mm. semi-finalists or whatever are all going to get yeah. a little eight-page thing. Yeah. Which, you know, fair enough. Makes enough sense. Uh, but uh, not for me, I think, fundamentally, is what I'd say. Uh, Matt, what are you rating Superboy the Mana tomorrow? Um, I'll give this a 6.5. All right. Connor? Um, just a 6. I think it's, it's okay. Yeah. I think 6 is fair. All right. I won't go any lower because it's not bad, but I just, it's, yeah. it's a bit fluffy to me. Mm-hmm.